Hey guys, this is Austin, and it's Dean here with a little bit of a rant video going over something that I think has gotten way ridiculous, and that is patents and lawsuits and all kinds of just craziness as far as phones and tablet manufacturers go. Now to start off with, I wanted to start with a little bit of a story, so bear with me here. So earlier this month, I was at CES with my friend Phil, you guys probably know him as iCryptic. And so what we were doing is we were together and we were walking around hitting all the different booths and you know one was filming and one was just like doing a little demo and some of the stuff was interesting like some phones and tablets were interesting some of it wasn't but for the most part we were getting footage of pretty much as much as we could so if we thought hey this is great or you know whatever we could just you know edit the footage later and it would all be good so at one point we were at a booth and we were looking at a tablet so Phil he pulls out his camcorder and he's, uh, I start giving a demo so I start swiping through the home screen I think it's like an Android 3.0 honeycomb tablet. So swiping through it, looking at the apps, and you know, just kind of just giving a general overview of it. And about halfway through, I'm like, wait a minute, what's this called? So one kind of weird thing was there was no plaque or anything about it. So usually, for the most part, uh, for example, you know, if it was like a Samsung Galaxy Nexus or whatever, it would have like a plaque saying the name, give some kind of information. It's got like 4G and this and that. You know, just kind of give you a little bit of background information. But with this one, there was nothing. It was just the tablet, and it didn't look all that bad, but it wasn't really anything that spectacular. So about after a couple minutes of you know messing around with it a little bit, a rep walked up, go, hi, can I help you? And I'm like, yeah, well, what's the name of this tablet? And the little guy looks at me and goes, oh, it's the HiPad. So I just wanted to tell that story, just to kind of say there are two sides to this. I think that that's kind of ridiculous. I think that there's a pretty good chance that some people may confuse the iPad with the HiPad, you know, but on the other hand, I do think overall that a lot of this stuff has gotten ridiculous. One example of this is what's going on between Apple and Samsung. So a little while back, Apple sued Samsung, they sued back over all kinds of things. But one of the biggest things that came out of all this was Apple's lawsuit against the Samsung Galaxy Tab 10.1. As you guys can see here, it does look fairly similar to the iPad. However, I wouldn't say it's perhaps a blatant ripoff, but overall, Apple was definitely not very happy with this. So they sued, there's a big bunch of talking and this and that, but the end result was that they actually got it banned in Germany. So, you know, as far as the Samsung Galaxy Tab, nope, you can't buy the 10.1 in Germany at all, it's banned. Now, of course, this really is not acceptable at all to Samsung. When you design a tablet or phone, it costs you millions and millions of dollars, and you expect to be able to, you know, sell it here and here and here and, you know, etc., etc. So what they did was they created a different version of the Samsung Galaxy Tab called the 10.1N. Now, this is pretty much, for all intents and purposes, the same as the 10.1. However, they tweaked the design, some of the complaints that Apple had as far as, you know, like the look of it and whatnot. They tweaked the design. Perfectly fine, now it's on sale in Germany. The thing is with this kind of stuff though, is that that costs a lot of money to retool. Now while you might think, yeah, it's the same tablet, it's just got a little bit of a different design, that costs millions and millions of dollars. Not only do they have to make new advertising and all that kind of stuff, but they have to retool, so you gotta keep in mind that you know all the cases and you know the designs and whatnot, all that kind of stuff has to be retooled, which is just astronomically expensive. So that was really, really a major expense for Samsung. They had to redesign, even if it was fairly minor, they had to redesign their tablet just to be able to have it on sale. Of course, it goes the other way too. Just this morning, the European Union launched an antitrust investigation against Samsung for them suing all kinds of other manufacturers over 3G patents. Now, of course, there is 3G technology in pretty much every single phone that you buy today. Even 4G phones typically will have some kind of 3G radio inside so that it can communicate with older networks. Now, Samsung definitely does hold a lot of patents in this area. However, the main issue there is that they aren't really licensing them fairly, or at least they're supposedly not licensing them fairly. Uh, if you guys don't know what licensing patents is all about, for the most part, they can design something. So let's say I design a multi-touch screen, and that's mine. I designed it, and let's say Apple says, hey, I want to use your design. Well, I can go, sure, you can use it. You can use my net technology however I designed it. The only thing is you need to pay me like 50 cents for every iPhone. And of course, you know, the terms and all that kind of stuff can vary wildly, but licensing patents is very, very common. As far as this goes, there's a lot of gray areas. Some patents that are out are a little bit broad. And we have invented a new technology called multi-touch. And boy, have we patented it. <laughs> so... Oh, you know, this is just multi-touch on the Samsung Focus Flash in the year 2012. No big deal. So just take, for example, Android. Yeah, I'm sure, as most of you guys know, it's a free and open source operating system. So today, if I decide that I want to make a phone, I can go to the Android website, I can download Android, and I can use it freely on any phone, tablet, or pretty much whatever else I want. However, it's not quite that simple. 
Many Android manufacturers today actually pay royalties to Microsoft for the sale of every single Android phone. So the way this works is there's some kind of licensing agreement that there's some patents that Microsoft owns that are in Android. And so to do it, they pay for anything from five to fifteen dollars for every Android phone sold. Now this is kind of where it comes back to you guys. Now whenever someone designs a phone or a tablet, they pretty much gotta work out what's gonna cost what and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. So for example, they'll dedicate so much money to the screen, and they'll dedicate it to the processor, to the memory, to you know someone designing the phone, so that usually there's gonna be some kind of design studio involved. There's a lot of different things that are involved. Now on top of all this, just the hardware and the software and whatnot, now you've got things like, okay, well now we have to pay also Microsoft $10 per phone for this. Or maybe we have to pay three or four dollars for our legal fees for these lawsuits here and here and here. Now while they're probably not going to make a $200 phone turn into a $212 phone, what they may do is actually cut some kind of features. So for example, a phone they might decide, okay, this is going to have 32 gigabytes of storage. Oh, well, wait, now we have to pay this much for legal fees and this much for licensing fees. Okay, well, you know what? Let's just go ahead and give it 16 gigabytes of storage. Same thing goes. It may be a Super AMOLED display. They're like, oh, that's too expensive. We need to go down to an LCD display now. Overall, it's really, really complicated. Now, don't get me wrong. I definitely support patents and copyright and all that kind of stuff. For example, if I decide that I'm going to design a phone right now and then someone else copies it entirely, I should be able to sue them. I mean, that's just right. They stole it. But on the other hand, there are definitely some patents and some definitely some things that are kind of overly broad and kind of a little bit silly that I think all that does is really just hurt you as a consumer, that you're going to get maybe a little bit of a less quality phone, this and that. So I want to know, what do you guys think about this whole mess? Definitely be sure to leave your thoughts in the comment section below. I'm very curious to know. I think there's a lot to be said on this issue. And of course, if you found this video informational, helpful, whatnot, definitely be sure to leave it a thumbs up. I really appreciate that. And if you're interested in more videos on all kinds of technology, rants, you know, you name it, definitely be sure to subscribe to the channel up there.